Hey there, this is Kristen with K Design Co. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can create special formatting for your Show It blog um, so that your heading and your text styles are different from your the rest of your site. So um, in Show It, you can set your design settings that define your heading, your subheading, your titles, your paragraph text, um, and those styles carry over to your blog. So what happens if you want to have different text styles than the rest of your Show It website? This is what I'm going to be showing you how to do. So what I'm going to do is actually just show you um, by clicking into one of my blog posts. And if I scroll down here to one of my headings, um, I'm actually using Chrome, but you can do this in another browser as well. Um, if in Chrome, it's called Inspect. And if I click Inspect, I'm going to get this pop-up menu down here that's going to show me all of the code that's associated with this post. And you'll notice that this heading is defined as an H2. And then if I look over here on the right side, um, not only is this an H2, but it also has these two classes on it. Um, the dot D is important because it signifies that this is for desktop. And so um, if you want to do desktop and mobile styles, you'll need to make sure that you um, also duplicate this for a dot M style. Um, but we'll just work on desktop for now. And so you can see the uh, text properties that are associated with this um, certain heading. So this is called CSS and you can adjust the CSS code um, to customize your formatting for your blog as much or as little as you want. So um, out of the box, you don't have to do these changes, but this is just if you want your show it blog to have different text formatting than the rest of your website. So let's say, um, let's just give a couple examples of things that you can do um, with this heading in particular. So let's say you wanted to make it a little bit larger. Let's say we'll try 36 pixels. Um, you can actually go into this little uh, settings and preview the changes before you actually make them on your site. So this gives you a way to kind of experiment um, with the look um, before actually committing the changes. So this is just previewing. There's no changes happening on your live site um, just yet. Um, so if you wanted to add some additional letter spacing, you would definitely do that. Um, if you wanted to add additional spacing on the top or remove some of the spacing, let's say you got a little bit too large, um, you could add some additional spacing on the bottom if you wanted, um, just by changing that to margin bottom. Um, you can um, add some additional line height. So this changes how close the lines of text are together. Um, if you do 1.5M, uh, that'll change, or you could do, really, you can just experiment with a number of properties. Um, and you can also change the font up here. So um, whatever font you use up here, it must be a font that's already loaded into your show website. Um, so it can't just be another font that you saw on the internet. Um, it has to have a way to call that font. So if you have a font that's already loaded into your website and available through show it, then you can type the name of that font here. Um, right now, this is the font that I have loaded in. Um, but you could change that also to like a web safe font um, that will be universally available by pretty much every uh, computer. So Arial is one um, that you could use um, as well as um, you could try just Times New Roman. Obviously, you can use anything um, that fits your brand, but these are just examples um, of things that you can do. So once you have um, the styles the way that you like, then you can actually click and drag to select all of these properties. And what you're going to do um, is go into your Show It website. And then on my single post template, I'm going to click my custom CSS block. And you'll notice that I actually have a whole bunch of styles already set, but I'm going to go ahead and put this one at the bottom. We'll just ignore those for now. And whatever is the um, last will trump um, what may have been defined previously, but just for this example. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I have the entire um, set of properties uh, pasted in here and that I have the closing and opening brackets. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. 
So you'll notice one thing, if I refresh my page now, those changes that I just made are going to go away. It's going to go back to default of what it was um, because no changes have actually been made. I was just previewing the changes. Um, but if I do go ahead and hit publish, now that I added those changes into my custom CSS block, um, you will now see that on my live site, um, hopefully if I did this right, that all of the changes should um, apply. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh my page now that those changes have published. And you will see that that did change. It changed the spacing, it changed the font. Um, so updating the styles for your um, headings and your paragraphs are just doing um, this simple kind of experimentation and then updating that CSS block in your single post template. Now, if you wanted to change um, a different type of tag, let's say you wanted to change your paragraph text, you would do the same type of process. So right now, if I go and in inspect this text, I right click and hit inspect. I notice that this is my P tag. Um, my P tag, uh, what it is calling is just saying that it has a margin bottom up 20 pixels. But let's say I wanted to increase the line height of my P tag, then I would um, go ahead and type this. I guess it must already be 2.8. M. So if I do 2.5, you'll see that increase the spacing even more. And if I wanted to, let's say, make it bold for some reason, um, you can really do any number of things. Um, bold or italic, you can really do any number of uh, styles. This is just basic CSS uh, properties that you can use. So now it changed all of those things. Um, let's say I wanted to change the font size. I can go ahead and change that to 24 pix. So now it's like huge, uh, maybe not quite that huge. Um, so you can see that you can change um, pretty much anything that you can think of. You can adjust um, your style. So once you have, again, those styles set to um, what you prefer, then you can, again, copy and paste that, go into your CSS block on your single post template, paste that, and then save it. Again, I'll publish the changes. And now when I, I'll wait for this to load. Close. Then I will refresh my page and see that all of those changes now took. Okay, I'm going to quickly change those back so I don't get some weird effects happening on my site. You can see how quick and easy you can update those um, settings. I will show you one more um, trick that you can do for mobile styles. Um, in just a second here, I'll get that refreshed. And I'm going to, again, refresh my page. There we go, back to normal. Okay, and so, I did mention that you can adjust your mobile styles. If you click inspect, um, go ahead and just click the, on the P tag instead of the strong. So um, to check your mobile styles, you can click this little device toolbar right here, and then you'll be able to preview what your uh, post looks like on mobile. And then just again, go ahead and find the right tag that you want to preview. And if it is this P tag, you'll notice that instead of the dot D, we now have a dot M. So if you want to adjust the tag for your mobile styles, then you would just, um, again, do the same sort of process where you can experiment with the styles over here, adding different properties. Um, let's say you wanted the font size to be a little bit uh, larger for mobile. So you can see how easy that is to adjust there. Again, copy these properties over put them in your CSS block all the way at the bottom. Make sure you have your opening and your closing brackets, and then you can hit save and publish. And then if I refresh my page, I should see that the font size is updated. All right, it looks like it took, um, so my changes were updated. So hopefully that is helpful for you and you can use the same process for any of your heading tags, any of your paragraph tags, or any other um, type of WordPress um, 
tag that you want to adjust, say you want to adjust your block quote um, or your captions or things like that. This will work in the same type of way where you can find the element um, in the inspector, um, experiment with this sidebar tool to uh, define the CSS properties, and then add the CSS code into your single post template. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this process. And if you like this video, please subscribe or comment with the video that you love to see next. Thanks.